Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the channel. It's Christine and as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be looking into the Globe Observer app, specifically at the land cover tool. I'll be here to guide you through on how to direct yourselves with the app to ensure that you can send in efficient and clear data to Globe. So let's get started. By this point, you probably already have the Globe Observer app downloaded or installed on your phone. If you do not have that already, make sure to do that. It is free on both Android and iPhone devices. Once the app is installed, it's quite simple to find the land cover option since it is on the home page. It is the third protocol from the top and it should just say land cover with a colorful grid on it. In order to submit a new observation, you're going to click the yellow box that says new land cover observation. The great thing about these protocols is that they do provide really easy directions to go by either if they're by descriptions animations images or other visuals which is great and for the land cover option primarily it'll ask you a couple of questions on what exactly they're looking for which is great in being able to understand and making sure that you can send in correct data another thing that's great as we can see here is that they give a animation of what exactly the images should look like or what types of images they're looking for and by then you'll be able to have clear directions on how to take correct photos. The reason why the land cover tool is such an important part to sending observations is because people that use the app are able to send direct observations and direct data that affects either the local community or local environment and with the data that is collected we are able to see and visualize the different types of changes that are going on in our world daily. With that being said, now let's get back to the video. Where you get your data is also extremely important because since the land cover tool does require a large scape of land, I chose to do it at my regional park since most of my neighborhood is suburbs. But if you live in a more open area where that is accessible to you, that works as well. Once you input your images into the app, it's quite simple from here. Either you choose to add additional information, I chose not to, and you can add advanced information, which was mentioned earlier, or you can automatically send the general pictures that you took to Globe itself. And once you do that, it'll upload and your observation will be saved. It's really that simple. All left to say the land cover tool is another great way to observe your area and local community. I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to see more content just like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, make sure to stay safe and I hope you guys all have a great week.